So we are in the Wunderpark CS and I'm talking here to Corinne Vigreux. Yes, we all know her as one of the founders of TomTom, Tom, but she's also very active in her second career. Yeah, as a co-founder of Codem. Yeah. And what is Codem? It's a programming school that's going to deliver the best software engineers uh, in Holland tomorrow. Yes. You're not very happy about the state of our education in the Netherlands, right? I don't think it's the state of education in the Netherlands. I think in general, the you know, you know, as much as I do, software is eating the world. Yeah. And we just don't have enough software engineers. So I'm an entrepreneur. I see a problem. I have to go and try and fix it. Yeah. How many people are in the school? Now 120, but uh, in 18 months we'll be uh, between five and 600 students. That's the full capacity of the school. How many are women? 27%. I'm going up Hooray! 27. Uh, You're going up to 50? 50%. I'm not going to stop until I have 50% of women. Yeah, yeah. We just had a discussion about AI and the consequences for the people-centered economy. And then we had a huge discussion after FinSurf about fe uh, women, in, uh, women in our economy of the Netherlands. And the Netherlands was called backwards. Is that, uh, was that, that was also your opinion, right? With women in, in tech, but women in economy in general. It's always difficult to have stereotypes and to judge. What I think is women should be big in participation in the economy of tomorrow. Lots of brain, we need brains, we need people, and we need educators. Yeah, but you're unique. You worked, uh, you're French, you worked in, uh, in England, you came to Holland, you, you saw a lot of parts of Dutch society. How, how sophisticated are we with women in emancipation? Well, <laughs> honest, honest question. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think it is difficult. You don't have to be. You don't have to spare us. We can have it. I mean, yeah, we I we have to analyze the problem and then we can work on it. I think we're seeing change and we're seeing more women in Holland uh, taking higher position, and uh, I'm encouraging that. That's also the reason why I do a lot of speeches. I go on stage with some of my other female colleagues. Say, hey, we're working. It's fun. We're making a difference. We're having impact. Come you're doing a great job, and uh, you're doing a great job to change it. But I mean, if we the, uh, your other colleagues in the panel were going like, we're really backwards, and that was also the uh, from the audience that came is there. Is that your experience? Uh, if you compare France to England and to uh, to Holland, I think you see less women. You see less women CEOs, for example, in in uh, in Holland. You do in other countries. It's about the same as in Germany. I think culturally you s you see a lot of similarity between Holland and Germany. But I do think it is changing, and I've got to know a lot of amazing women are making a difference. Okay, you're positive. You're an entrepreneur. You're changing it. Hey, uh, we had uh, this whole subject about AI and and, uh, and and the role it plays of our future economy. Uh, how do you see? Uh, how do you see the? Uh, is it is it a uh, beautiful chance, or is it an uh, is it a an incredible threat, or is it something in between? No, I think it's an amazing opportunity, AI. I mean, it's going to have massive impact on a lot of stuff we do. It's going to enable autonomous driving. It's going to have big impact in health, for example. Uh, I think it will do, you know, if you look at automization, it has made, it has freed the man. Uh, you know, early this century, people were sitting on the line and were fixing and making, you know, on the chain, and it wasn't fun. And people were going down mine, and it wasn't fun. So those evolution actually liberate man and we need to uh, adapt and 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 we're in an economy now where we are looking at work life balance we're looking at uh, doing things we enjoy well our grandparents didn't have this chance and this opportunity so i'm an optimist and i think ai will actually help us uh, and help society move forward uh, instead of uh, spending all our time in agriculture or spending our time in production or now in services you think that ai will help us to have a higher quality of life and it's not that 50% of the people will be out of a job I think I think we will need those machines, and what we do will need to be used. We're still going to need to eat. We're still going to need services. So uh, if I look in self-driving cars, you know, if we don't spend all our time in traffic, and if our cities are not so congested, it's going to be fun and give us more time to be creative and to do other things. We will adapt, and I think we will adapt for the better. And I think technology is not a threat. It's a it's a way to liberate men. Who can be on your school? What 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 kind of skills do you need, and what kind of people are you looking for? Actually, you don't need anything. So you just need to uh, do the test for two hours and then come into the school, have a look. For one month, you'll be uh, tested, so you'll be able to participate and see whether coding and computer programming is for you. That's one thing. More it can be okay. You can be old. You can be young. You can be man, yeah. female. You can be anything. You need to be 18. That's it. Because oh. 18. Yeah, the school is up. Not for me. That's too bad. Nah, not for me. Either. No career. Yeah. 
but it's open day and night and uh, it's, a, it's a school that's, uh, uh, that's peer-to-peer learning. It's also very disruptive in the way people are learning. I think it's the way of the future. There is big participation from students and now learn. They learn from each other, follow a curriculum that's been written by the best professors, uh, very current. So I think it's, uh, it's the way forward and, uh, and you should come and have a look. Yeah, so if you're 18 years old, take a check out at school. I'll put it in the notes. Yes. Now, hey, you've been through a roller coaster with uh, Tom Tom. You know, you're basically calm. It was a beautiful, teeny little company with 20 people and 2 million sales. Four, four people when I started. Yeah, four people. Yeah, four people. And they had 25 products and uh, 2 million dollars in sales. And then they dropped everything and go into navigation. And then, hi, you're 1.6 billion. And then you're back to one and you're going up and down. Yeah. I mean, and you're still enthusiastic. And you came back to the company, right? What are you doing now? Yeah, I'm coming back as CMO. Yeah, well, I'm I think, you know, we're making a difference. And that's the reason why that, that, that motivates me. As entrepreneurs, you want to have impact. Yeah. And when you look at all the technology, and we were talking about this just now, all the years we've invested in that data, mm-hmm. in that mapping, yeah. we're doing high definition. Billions and billions of data points. You can basically, if anybody wants to teach an, uh, an you know, to like a neural network, you have the data to do it, to do it. Yeah, once we've been and the maps. Once we've been talking, the whole of Berlin has been remapped instantly with the, our trace data. So we have more data in Europe than most company. So we can really work on on those new technologies, on autonomous driving. I think we're going to play a major role there into making our city less congested, the road safer. Something we've been okay. You have the years. data, you have the maps, you have all kinds of brilliant programmers, you have a fantastic installed space uh, base. In five years, what will TomTom Tom be? Will it be the Android on uh, on autonomous driving uh, on a drive? Will you compl- have a complete stack for your cu- current customers, your uh, OEMs, or what role will you play? We'll be will be Google Manager competitor in uh, in providing maps and uh, t- to to the world. So I think there'll be two. Maps players. is one. I mean, maps yeah. maps you're going to be you, you are already big, huge number yeah, one, two, three. If you look in the car, if you look at, at all the software in the car, the connected car will be. Uh, the software under the hood for driving those cars, and uh, that, that, that's our level of ambition. Okay. And so you're basically going for another roller coaster going on the way up. It'll be a credible alternative to Google. Okay. So there you hear it, and she's willing to share the experience with you. So come to the programmer school, but also, I mean, we can also uh, celebrate uh, your entrepreneurship for all that time. Thank you very much. Thank you.